I'm a little bit unsure as to the provenance of this particular specimen at the moment. I believe that it is from the Art and Villa Mine, Messina, South Africa. But what would be unusual if it is from there uh, is the amount of epidote we have forming over this solid quartz formation. Uh, Matrix is very similar to what one could expect from Messina. So I'm going to take this from a different angle. I'm going to move very close. What we always look for in the Messina quartzes are the elusive Ajawite and Papagawite, uh, which would be turquoise to, to blue-green needles um, uh, trapped inside the quartz crystal. So if you see some of that color, um, definitely it would be the Messina Ajawite Papagawite. Could also be from a deposit... Uh, Orange River region, which is very vague, um, lying between, uh, uh, well, Namibia and South Africa and the northern cape of South Africa. There were deposits of epidote from there. I uh, just need to have a very close look. And in my description, I'll actually tell you what I find, what the results are of my findings. Is it from the Art and Villa mine, Messina, or is it from the uh, deposits of the Orange River in the northern cape of South Africa? Quite a lovely piece. From a display point of view, uh, I'd have it standing on a turntable, going around like this, so all-round view, going across. Uh, pretty perfect, except for minor contact on this crystal face, minor chipping, um, or even a, a almost a, a whitish second generation of quartz that appears sitting over there. Very, very lustrous, bright, lustrous specimen. Have a look at those, and also the epidote crystals come out quite beautifully. It's a little bit underexposed as we're seeing it here. Let's just see if I can get it in a little bit closer. You can have a good look at those epidote crystals. A whole lawn of epidotes running across these uh, milky, milky quartz crystals.